Let's talk about how to choose a broad axe. The right axe will make your work more efficient, safer, and far more enjoyable. We hope this short video helps you choose the right axe for your work. Broad axes and hatchets are traditional tools used to square up logs and small sections of logs for building timbers and carving blanks. If you've ever looked in an old building and admired the hand-hewn beams, chances are the surface you're admiring was produced with a broad axe. Their blades are very wide, that is to say broad, compared to other axes. Before we really get into it, Let's define a few key concepts and terms. Imagine you're holding an ax with its sharp edge pointing away from your body, oriented like this. Now what we're going to be calling the right bevel or the right side of the ax faces the same direction as the right side of your body. What we're going to be calling the left bevel or the left side of the ax faces the same direction as the left side of your body. Now, general purpose axes have the same bevel on the right and the left side of their heads so that they are symmetrical. We call these axes double beveled. If you'd have a general purpose random axe in your garage or garden shed, chances are it's got a symmetrical head like this one. Axes like this are great for gardening, uh, yard work, forestry, because their symmetrical head allows you to swing either from the left or from the right with predictable, consistent results. We're going to have more to say about that in a minute. The other key concept applies to broad axes. Most broad axes have one flat face and one beveled face. It's a little easier to see in profile. One flat face and one beveled face. Just like before, if we hold the axe with its sharp edge pointing away from the user, if we have a flat face on the right, bevel on the left, this is a left bevel axe. Flat face on the left, bevel on the right, this is a right bevel axe. I know this is dead simple but it is the key concept in this video. Having an asymmetrical head turns the typical broad axe into a specialized tool for creating a flat face. You can think of this flat back as uh, akin to the flat back of a chisel, which is going to follow along a surface to allow you to do pairing. Now you might make a few scoring cuts like this in order to help the blade get down to that surface. But what you're doing with the broad axe typically is creating a nice flat face. See how the right beveled axe, to have its bevel away from the log and to have its flat back up against the flat face we're trying to hew into the log. If you look at the log from above, that right bevel axe is going to be working on the right side of the log. Now also notice it doesn't matter whether I'm standing on the opposite side of the log the way I am now or whether I'm straddling the log like now or whether I'm completely on 
I'm standing on the right side of the log. No matter where I'm standing, the axe is going to be working on the right side of the log viewed from above. Where I stand is going to be determined by my comfort, my idea of safety, and ergonomics as far as the height of the log. For safety, what matters is if the ax should miss the log completely or go through its cut, wherever it lands is not going to be my foot or leg. That's what's going to tell me where I'm going to stand in relation to the log. But as long as I'm using the right bevel ax, the ax is going to be working on the right side of the log viewed from above. When I have a left bevel ax with a flat back on the right and a bevel on the left, that ax is going to be traveling along the left face of the log viewed from above. Notice how the log is oriented just the same as before, but the axis orientation to it is different because of the fact that we've turned around. Ergonomically and safety wise, it can even be good to have the work up high so that you can really pay close attention to where the flat plane is. There are some broad axes that are symmetrically beveled instead of flat like this. They'll have a wide bevel here, also a wide bevel here. The problem or the difficulty with those, even though they might seem to be more versatile, is that in order to cut, you need to be out at a much steeper angle and you're moving in this direction even though you want your chip to go that direction. So it takes more skill and practice to get a good job with a symmetrical broad axe. Some broad axes have the socket that receives the handle actually twisted away from the cutting edge. This means that when the cutting edge is flat against the log, the handle is actually canted away from the log in order to give your hands, your knuckles, clearance as you make the cut. Another way to get that same kind of clearance if you make your own handle is to make a handle with a bend or a turn to it. So those are the factors to think about when purchasing a broad hatchet or broad axe. With some practice, with some attention to technique and safety, we at Highland think you'll agree with us that these are effective, efficient woodworking tools. And remember, Highland Woodworking carries a broad selection of axes, hatchets, and adzes of all types. Thanks for watching.